And here's other answers to the homework to <coughs> use a genetic interaction network to repeat the Fraser 2002 science paper analysis. So I provide this uh, read dot uh, d e l i m command and to read uh, the genetic interaction data into R. This is the uh, uh, table delimited uh, data. It does not have the header, so the header is F. After reading to the data, uh, I want to. Uh, yeah, now it's reading the data. After reading the data, I want to uh, assign some column names so it can be used more uh, uh, intuitively. So the first column is ORF1. The second column is a regular name for the systematic gene names. And the third column is ORF2, and then followed by regular name. There are three other columns, and we will ignore it for the time being. And basically, OIF1 and OIF2 are again pairwise genetic interaction data. Uh, mean, uh, when we want to convert the ORF into characters, and this can be done by s.character command function uh, in R, after we convert them into characters, and we can use uh, concatenation again, put the two columns into a long list of IDs so that we can run the table command. And now this time I want to put the result directly into a data frame in R, basically like a spreadsheet in Excel. And I call this genetic net. Uh, after we run these two commands, Um, oops, uh, I need to rerun everything. There, and we will have a genetic net data frame. And in this case, that's the IDs, and then with the frequency, with the number of frequency for every gene, basically the number of genetic interaction for every gene to be involved in. And we can again now uh, load the fitness data and the evolutionary uh, data into R. Those are done similarly, uh, basically the same way as we are done for the pressure R02 paper. Um, but you need to make sure all those data are in the same working directory of this uh, R script you are doing for the homework assignment. Now we need to use a match function to merge the data set. And again, I want to match the number of genetic interaction per gene into the evolutionary spreadsheet, K data. Uh, here I can name it. So I want to match, use the match function, match the systematic gene name in the K data to the IDs in the genetic network data. The IDs is a column name for the ORS in the GNET spreadsheet. So this match function will return the positions for ORF name in IDs in the genetic network spreadsheet. Those positions uh, will is at the match, but I only need the frequency in the GNET. The frequency is a number of genetic interaction per gene. After taking this column, I assign it to K data, evolution data, and this time I call it genetic uh, interaction degree for G degrees. I run this command, and now let's look at the, the GNET, oh, let's have the K data again. Now I have matched the G degree into the GNET uh, spreadsheet. And we can also do some uh, uh, manual check. So I have GNET. Uh, <coughs> Degrees. The first one is 222, and I also kind of look at the K data. Well, the K data start with 005, so 005, the degree should be 8, that indeed is 8. 007, that should be 3, and indeed that's a 3, and you can verify the rest of it. And then we can do linear regression, and basically, since everything is now in the same data sheet, we can just do a 
linear regression between the two uh, uh, columns in the same data sheet, the K data here. And here I did a log transformation uh, just to make sure the two data, oops, uh, there's something is wrong here. Uh, let me rerun everything to make sure it is done correctly. Uh, again, it looks like there's something is not a number when I do a log transformation. Uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, do a log transformation then. Uh, okay, let me remove the log transformation. Oh, there are some warning signs. Uh, I'm going to remove that. And then, okay, this time we see the p-value and r square is a very poor correlation, but it's still somewhat significant. Um, if we look at the plot, you can see it mainly due to the uh, larger data part and the smaller, most conservative one seem to have a doesn't have much change. The most other difference came from the Fast evolved genes. So, and to make it more clear, I'm going to remove all the log operations. And then we do the plot again. Yeah, so it's a very poor correlation. And you can now repeat uh, the rest of the analysis.